God's favorite thing. Wait, where's record? What do I press? <laughs> oh no! I don't like it. Sorry. Como ya la vi, solita, pues me pregunté qué pasa cuando me bailo cerquita. Eso fue es como mal. Dale, dale, trata, tú sabes cómo es. Cómo se. Good morning, everyone. Do I have some news for you guys? <laughs> if you see my dishes in the back, mind your business. I'm about to go do them right now. But anyways, I just got back from the gym and I wanted to keep you guys updated on my cut journey. At approximately day six, five, six around there, I had this like weird moment. I told you guys that the beginning of this cut was very like all over the place, right? My mindset still was not where it had to be for this cut. And for some reason, the day five to six mark or whatever, I was literally texting my friends like, I don't know why this isn't working yet. I feel like my body hasn't changed. It hasn't even been a week. Get it together, girl. Yesterday, as you did see, or you will see, because I'll put up the video, I didn't have the best mental day, but today was so much better. That's why I always say, it's just a bad day, not a bad life, or maybe just a bad moment. All right, so currently I'm in the gym, no makeup on. I got my glasses on, that's how you know it's bad. I'm not having a good mental day and I'm very emotional. And I just need this to serve as a reminder for you all to check yourselves, check in with yourself. I don't have my camera today, so I'm just gonna do this on my phone. But I said I would document the good, the bad, the ugly on this cut journey. I just realized I've been on autopilot the last two weeks. There's been so many things going on that I have not even felt or taken in. Like I have multiple friends that are currently very sick. I have friends that came to visit me from other states that I did not get to see more than once. But it's because I've also been running around. They have their own things going on. And I'm just, I feel like everything's hitting me right now and I'm overwhelmed with my schedule and all the anxious thoughts like where is my life going what am i going to be doing next am i okay is this where i want to be it's just sometimes you need to realize like it doesn't mean that you're perfectly okay it just means that you're avoiding it and because of the busyness and the running around with this whole new cut and schedule and all this other stuff i for the first two weeks have neglected my mental health practices that i mentioned before like my reading writing prayer scripture things like that this is just a reminder that it's okay some days are better than than others try not to give things out of your control too much weight and you will be okay i appreciate y'all bye so today is saturday the 14th so i've been about nine days in on this cut journey there has been some changes <laughs> today i hopped on the scale and although i don't really do that anymore because i don't like to look at numbers during a fat loss journey it doesn't hurt to look and see if there has been any changes again if you're gaining muscle at the same time which i am currently because of my high protein intake and how i'm weightlifting there's probably won't be too too much of a difference but now that i looked it's been nine days and ever since my cut because i've been going so hard and this is not a bad thing everybody's body is different i will say this one thing about my body it does react very quickly if i'm gonna gain weight i'm gonna do it quick and if i'm gonna lose weight i'm gonna do it quick too that's just how my body's always been and then when i started the fat loss journey i was about 171 around there i just looked after nine days i am now 164.5 so in the last nine days, I have lost four pounds and some change. So that's really actually impressive. Of course, a lot of that can probably be water weight too, but my goal was only about a pound a week. So I just want to remind you, just because you don't receive results quickly, it doesn't mean that they're not happening. You got this and keep pushing through and eat. Today, I will be breaking down my workout split and my progress with my keto slash fat loss journey. It's officially been two weeks and I am very excited to say that yes, keto has been accomplished and that did come with some symptoms, of course. First, we will discuss some of the changes that have occurred over the last two weeks and then we will get into my workout split, of course. Some of the symptoms that I experienced, they occurred probably around day four or five around there. So my menstrual cycle did come early. Usually my cycle starts anywhere from the 19th to the 20th. 21st around there of the month if it is regular this month I decided to come pretty early and I got it four days in so it was like on like the ninth or something like that this is likely due to the change in the diet um, but also the change in the workout intensity and the program when I started this fat loss journey I also decided to change my schedule around as well so my sleep is also affected 
I now get up really early on my days off and go to bed pretty early. That's also another change that my body had to adjust to. So day four of the keto, I definitely experienced what was called the keto flu. Like I did the last time, I got a crazy headache. When I say I get this headache, I'm telling you like it literally, it's just like two beams just shooting in the middle of my head and it hurts something crazy like it does not go away. I did experience body aches all over it. It felt as if I was coming down with like a cold of some sort, but I didn't have a fever or anything. Along with all of that also came hunger. So around day six or so, because I obviously, you know, adjusted the calories and I went down in my calorie intake, my body was now starting to get hungry a little bit sooner. So I wasn't as full in the time in between my meals, but it was more so, okay, I'm ready to eat now type of a feeling. It wasn't like an urgency, like I need to eat, I'm starving. It was just more so like, oh, my body knows that I'm about to eat, so where's my food? <laughs> it wasn't anything aggressive though, I promise. It was more so mm, the act of me eating satisfied that feeling. Whereas beforehand, I would be eating so much that I would be overly full or overly satisfied and I would never get the feeling of hunger. I wanna also give the specifics of the weight loss. I did check back into my notes and in regards to the video that you probably saw previously, I did weigh in at the beginning of this fat loss journey at 170.6 pounds and now two weeks in I am officially 164 0.5 pounds. So in two weeks, that's a total of 6.1 pounds. Other than that, as of right now, I am feeling great. I do feel as if I see a slight difference in the tone of my body where I can see my muscles a little bit more and I just feel stronger for some reason. That could just be me mentally, like a placebo effect, of course, but I'm feeling really good and I'm really happy. <laughs> right now, I have no complaints, <laughs> except that of course I do crave sugar. As I told you before, I did get my menstrual cycle pretty early this month, but also on top of that viewing keto, now that I'm not eating carbs really at all, the craving for sugars and carbs was absolutely ridiculous. Oh. Ooh. So what I did have to do was to, you know, make keto friendly desserts and that usually will satiate the sweet cake that I have. This week I made keto Rice Krispie treats and a keto cake. I will say be careful when you're in the stores buying things that are labeled keto friendly because most of the time they're not. And what they're stuffed with is a bunch of sugar alcohols and sugar alcohols can actually cause bloating, cramping, um, gas and diarrhea, which I did experience. <laughs> so I did not eat much of that before I stopped. <laughs> so I would say if you are going to attempt to have a keto dessert or a low sugar dessert, make sure you're making it with the actual ingredients needed and not something from a box that is just labeled keto friendly. Cause this time I did not enjoy the desserts. The desserts were good, but the effects afterwards were just not worth it at all to me. The first time I did the keto, I actually ended up making a raspberry cheesecake and I also made, ugh, keto cinnamon rolls and those had no effect on my body whatsoever but I think it's because I was using the actual ingredients to make them homemade like the almond flour and the artificial sweetener something was just very different I think this was just loaded with that chemical stuff and it just did not go well with my body whatever I did before worked so I'm just gonna probably go back to that and sometimes when I'm feeling like I want that kick but I don't have any of the stuff in my house to make something from scratch or whatever maybe, I'll usually just make like a vanilla protein shake, um, put a little bit of vanilla extract and some cinnamon. It'll kind of just taste like, kind of like a vanilla milkshake and that usually will settle me for the night. And it's more protein, so. <laughs> and just so you know, I will be putting in my meal prep for the week this week. We have for breakfast, a breakfast skillet. You may be like, what the hell is that? It is so good. The way you make those is pizza sauce, tomato sauce, whatever it is that you would like, you use that sauce as the base, then the chicken, and then you put your eggs in and top it with some cheese and whatever seasonings you like. And you can use whatever protein you like to put in there as well. You can mix anything in there that you want. I'm just picky, so I'm not gonna be putting in them like mushrooms or spinach or anything. We have for lunch, lemon pepper tuna cakes with some spicy mayo, homemade of course, and cauliflower mash. Oh my God, this was actually my favorite meal of the week. Because I have a chicken kick this week, I don't know what's going on. I'm loving the chicken a lot. I also made some chicken parm cutlets with some honey goat cheese and almond Brussels sprouts. And I also put some cranberries in there as well. Oh my God. When I say these Brussels sprouts are some of the best things I've ever made. And it's great because you also get like the salty and savoriness from the chicken parm with the sweetness of the Brussels sprouts. It's, it's really good. So you should definitely try it. But now getting into my workout split. So this is my current workout split.
scheduling wise, this is why it's kind of funny. I work as a nurse, I work agency, so I pick up whatever days I would like. I make my schedule weekly. So on the days that I decide to work, I will only go to the gym one time, unless it's a rest day, of course. And that will be in the evening after work because I usually will work 7 to 3 p.m. On my days off, though, I usually am up by 3 a.m. And then I will hit the gym for 5 a.m. And to then do any chores, meal prep, errands, or just be productive in the meantime. Maybe clean my house, do laundry, whatever it is that I have scheduled for that day. In the meantime, between I hit the second gym session. So on the days that I don't work, I usually hit the gym twice. It usually once at 5 a.m. and the second time at 5 p.m. So I do try to space out my workouts so certain muscle groups will not be sore by the time I hit a muscle group that may incorporate that muscle or until I have to hit it again because of course going to the gym twice in one day that kind of eliminates that workout for that day and week you know so it's a little bit harder when you're kind of toppling and stacking workouts all in one day and then you're trying to allow time for recovery and rest for those muscles to be ready to go again so what I usually will do is start with a calf and booty day and that is actually my least favorite day. So a lot of people will say, women love booty day. I'm not gonna lie. Booty day is actually my least favorite day, but I paired it with one of my favorites. So I get it done at the beginning of the week. I get something I don't like done, but I also get to do one of my favorites. So it's kind of like the perfect mixture. I start with calf and booty day. I love calves. You better have a calf day. If you don't have a calf day, I'm coming to find you. Don't neglect your calves. And then of course I'll do an upper body day. I'll do chest and back usually. And then after that, hoping that if I don't do them too close together, of course, cardio core and conditioning day, but that also incorporates my calves. So let's just say those muscles are very sore. I may add in a rest day in between there. It just really depends. Let's say I have three days off from work and I finish all the workouts that I have to do in one week within like three or four days or whatever it is. I allow myself some rest in between, but you best believe on like that fifth day, I'm starting all over again. So I may do cap and booty on Monday, but guess what? I may be doing it again right on Friday because I already hit all the other ones I had to hit during the week. So after cardio core and conditioning day, I'll hit an arm day, which is not too bad, but it is my longest day because I'm working three muscle groups. And then we're on to quads and hammies, which is actually one of my favorites. So I also get to end the week with something that is my favorite as well. I also just wanna mention, This is happening right now while I'm recording. Really? Are we dead serious? <sighs> Remember when I told you guys that I'm irregular, but I usually get my period at the end of the month because of the diet and everything. I got it early. Yeah. I'm going to be getting it twice. I'm cramping so bad right now. Today is uh, 17th, I think, 18th, which is definitely the time I usually get my period. Oh, it's coming. I got my period twice this month. <laughs> Yay. Anyways, I hope to see you guys in the next video when I discuss my month update of this fat loss journey. It has been a roller coaster, and I'm so happy that you have been here with me the entire time. I will be posting progress pictures, of course. I'll probably post them at the month update or maybe the two month update. I'm not sure yet, but <laughs> we'll make it through together. So again, thank you so much for spending time with me, and I will see you in the next video. Here, nothing from my friends. And my friends love to joke around and say that I'm God's favorite. It's not funny. I don't like that because not for nothing. TMI. I did just go to the bathroom, and guess what? I literally just caught me starting my cycle on camera. <laughs> Period. I don't know if I'm the only woman in this world that I get one massive cramp, like one that hurts like nothing else. And that's the indicator that I literally am starting right then. Right that, right in that moment. I caught that on camera. I started right on camera. Ugh! So another update. I officially did get my period twice in one month. I am not God's favorite.